The magnificence that the Lord is going to bring us back to, you know, and this is something that we have to envision because we're going to be brought back to greatness because our power is going to be set back up and people are going to laud and praise him. His Messiah, Yahweh Shai, is going to be lauded and praised. So the men of the Lord that are lauded and praised are going to have those law, statutes, and commandments inside of them to be able to reestablish righteousness on the earth. And then the nations will be in awe once again and even in more awe because of the magnificence. The awe that the Queen of Sheba was in, that's going to pale in comparison to the awe of the kingdom. You know, I'm getting goosebumps right now just thinking about it. You know, the Queen of Sheba, she had no life left in her when she saw the splendor of King Solomon's majesty and his kingdom, his servants, how they were arrayed and everything. So just imagine the kingdom of heaven, you know, and these nations are going to go back to that. They're going to go back to reverencing us, you know, not looking at us as niggas and spicks and spooks and wetbacks and tantos and all that, but looking at us in our respective state of being an Israelite, you no know, man or woman, you know, of our particular tribe, whether it be Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Simeon, whatever, you know, it's going to go back to that. It's going to go back to the majestic lauding of Yahweh Bashem Shai and the people of the Most High, which are the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, the Native American Indians that have been downtrodden, that have been called outcasts, that have been called the forsaken, are going to get back that power, are going to get back that vigor, are going to get back that status of greatness that we had at one time. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And we're witnessing the beginning of that, of us being established. But this is speaking about in the kingdom. It says, And shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. So we're going to be exalted above all of the hills, meaning all of these other nations and their governments. Because out of every nation and government on the planet that ever ruled an empire and the great civilizations that ever ruled, that's going to be nothing compared to the kingdom of heaven, compared to the laws, statutes, and commandments in the kingdom of heaven, compared to the majesty of the kingdom. Because it's not just only going to be on the planet Earth, it's going to be in the different planets all over the universe. It says, and all nations shall flow into it. And why are all these nations going to flow into it? Because they are waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High to be established once again on the planet. Because they know that once that happens, things are going to be set back up into the right order. It says, and many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways because 144,000, the governing body, will be bringing out the word and the laws, statutes and commandments. You know, setting up everything into order. This is for that, this is for this, this is for that. And according to this law, and boom, boom, you know, so on and so forth. So they're going to come to learn because we're not going to teach each other. Because we're going to be perfected. Our stony hearts are going to be taken out. Fleshly heart is going to be put in. Law, statutes, and commandments are going to be put in after these vile bodies are changed. So the nations are going to see that. They're going to see that splendor. And they're going to come to it. And they're going to want to learn. It says, and he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his paths. So that's what we're going to be teaching. We're going to be teaching these nations. The law, statutes, and commandments. Through the governing body of the nation of Israel. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. Rock it out, you have a shot. Rock it out, you have a shot. Rock it out, you have a shot.